YouTube. This is Puck. Today we're gonna install uh, Debian 8.2 on a median Akoja 10 inch netbook. We just put in a very nice little uh, hard drive from I think 250 gigabytes. So that's really big for such a small little book. Um, and well, the best operating system to install on this thing, you know, today, what was it, September 2015, is Linux for real. Many people think that Linux is some cheap operating system because it's free, but it's even more advanced than the, you know, the popular operating systems out there. You know, Apple is learning from Linux, Windows is learning from Linux, you know, and everything that you can do with Linux, you cannot do with a Windows or Apple computer. So that's why it's very good to have Linux machines in your house these days, because, you know, because of many privacy issues, um, you should really start looking uh, how to, you know, make your environment uh, kind of more secure. Uh, also because of you know maybe plans that you're having or maybe things that you're thinking of you can't have it uh, being you know copied to sources that you don't even know you know so that is really uh, a bad thing these days so, so we're gonna install Linux I'm not gonna talk too long about it this is a mint Linux mint 17 with uh, the Puck Darlington design desktop and I called this a desktop a Deviant desktop, Deviant art desktop, because all the beautiful stuff that you see and the makeover, all the things you cannot do with these op other operating systems, you know. And I just really do re really easy with Linux. Um, yeah, they come from Deviant art. Eh? So the guys there at Deviant art, they are also kind of my friends. I, you know, like the works that they do and I use their icons and their stuff to, you know, make my system one that you won't find a second one from around, you know. This is my uh, computer environment, as you can see. And in fact, this is not a video about this laptop, but it's about, of course, Debian. Here you can see the Debian uh, ISOs. So what we need, in fact, peeps, is uh, to get started, is UNet button. Let me see if I have it. UNet, I don't have it yet. So we go to the App Store. And we're gonna get UNet button. Now it's gonna create the stick. And after that, we're gonna start the installing. Okay, friends, welcome back. As you can see, we did it. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna close this book and then this one come on top. Okay, so there we go. <clears throat> we're gonna boot up, I think F something, F11, to run the boot menu. And we want to start up from TDK. And we're gonna boot up default. Instead of default, select Live 686. Fail safe. Because this will end up into a hanging uh, error somewhere uh, yeah, at a certain point. So let's reboot her again. Do. and then we go to TDK and then we're gonna look at something here um, live 686 PA fail safe let's go for that in fact the best to choose for is a fail safe cause fail safe will you know um, not treat the system as you know a fully spec and supported system it will you know keep some here and there uh, it will how you say this um, compromises things as you can see here it will go through all the hardware one by one and find little answers for it you know and <clears throat> this is in fact how to boot uh, with this netbook that's what I found out 
because uh, yeah this will bring us straight up to the desktop and soon we will have Debian 8.2 running and up on this system there is the desktop black mouse I should get the little spinning wheel there there it is see that and we have the mate desktop okay uh, oh it's saying that the network has been disconnected by hardware switch okay so let me see how to fix the hardware switch you see we also have four desktops here this is just beautiful and can we change it around no ah, we cannot change it around I found out how to put on the Wi-Fi. You need to hit the FN and then the F11. And I looked around a little bit and I played a bit with Debian. And I also looked at the applications here. And you can see it's more for, yeah, people that have offices and, you know, things like that. Now, if we take a quick look, we see that people that run an office can really really get out of their feet with uh, Linux uh, Debian 8.2 all the packages are there uh, it looks pretty good uh, to change things around you will have to remove the original launcher and put in the other launcher that one you can change around that all is possible in mate and uh, yeah I'm looking and uh, playing a bit around with it and still I find that uh, yeah the Linux Mint made uh, 17 or even 13 versions are um, to me kinda easier to use also installing of the apps via terminal etc I'm you know starting to learn these things out but in fact this Debian system you can also change around even though you don't see the properties thing here if you just remove that whole uh, yeah that whole block up there and you add uh, another launcher the other launcher you can change around them eh? you can give it your own icons of course you can uh, change the icons around as well if you want to so um, yeah that is also no big deal uh, you can in fact do all the things that you also kind of do with Linux Mint but still with Linux Mint it's kind of easier it's already open and out there but this uh, this this uh, start menu that you see we can of course also get in Linux Mint it's just uh, uh, a matter of you know right mouse click the taskbar and select add to the taskbar and up there you will find launchers um, for the rest I must say that uh, Debian 8.2 looks fantastic but uh, I decided not to install it on this book probably because I found that maybe this book was still um, yeah too light to run this and um, I should not complain because in fact the Wi-Fi was also working out of the box everything worked out of the box so yeah Linux uh, Debian or Debian 8.2 maybe I should not say Linux Debian I should say Debian Linux 8.2 is also a very nice distribution even though uh, the whole screen is kind of shaking a bit and pff, I'm yeah rebooting the thing I just turned it off so yeah that was it in fact for now peeps since i found out the power of changing things around the way i want it you know i think that's the goal of the next operating system the next operating system will be one that will let the user change things around without even having to download any piece of software from third parties you know user just click right mouse click properties you know change icon boop change it in any icon they want to you know make them feel even more loved and one with the system because you know you know that I'm a Windows and Mac uh, user but since I'm you know on Linux 
kind of my 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 world kind of changed a bit you know because i'm finding my other systems kind of not my systems you understand what i say they're not personalized by me you know they are personalized like how any other idiot in the world can have it you know but my desktops you know that you see in linux the Puck darlington design desktop and i showed you how to do it so you can give it your own name design copyrighted by you desktop you know i mean like these are the desktops in the world that are the most innovating and um i think the next linux distributions you know guys if you work on your you know on your linux distribution make sure that you give it beautiful icons make it beautiful let it look beautiful you know not like the others make something beautiful and give the people the chance to you know even make it more beautiful just like how linux mint and uh, of course ubuntu mate uh, 15 also give the users the 12 of course also the the, the 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 10 we had that we could do it also i think but in ubuntu is still a little bit you know i think linux mint is the boss with letting you change things around and uh, letting you feel that the system that you're having is really your system anyway peeps enough talking i'm gonna see you in my next video <laughs> i'm gonna do a lonely install here on the background you know I've been thinking uh, I could also try to install Mac OS X on this thing, you know, do a Mac project on this thing, you know, a little 10 inch MacBook. Yeah, man.